your boy. Your boy. You're the number one choice. Your go-to station only has news and information. This is TCWN Freedom Radio. The Vanguard of Freedom. All cool games from Hawaii today's May 18, 2023. This is Nikolai Rakia. And I'm Alexandra Binatni Kong. Your news anchors for TWN. It's time to bring you the hottest news from the Philippines and across the globe. 97.5 Freedom Radio. Philippine Center time is now 1 o'clock in the afternoon. For today's headlines, former rebels in Negros Occidental receives praise and assistance from the government. Worth international news, Nigerian nationals under visa restrictions. U.S. F-16 fighter jet crashes near Osan Airbase. In sports, Gilas Pipinas replaces its WhatsApp throne for decades. For the details of today's headlines, former rebels in Negros Occidental receives praise and assistance from the government. When? Negros Occidental Governor Eugenio Serrazon lauded a total of 57 rebels for their decision to abandon armed struggle in a ceremony held at the Provincial Capital Social Hall in the Colored City. But some added that the provincial government is committed to assist and support each of the former rebels as they reintegrate into society, while the enhanced comprehensive local integration program assistance is being processed. In international news, Nigerian nationals under visa restrictions. Nick, give us an update. Nigerian nationals are under visa restrictions by the U.S. after an undermining of Africa's 2023 election cycle. As the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken stated, the individuals that are under restriction were involved in acts of threats, physical violence, and manipulations in an effort to intimidate voters. The visa restrictions are the latest in a string of actions taken against these individuals. Up next, U.S. F-16 fighter jet crashes near Osan Air Base. U.S. Filipinas reclaims its once and throne for decades. Diesel B News will be back with more details after this short break. I'm Alexander Gunefi Kong from CNN. And that was our guest for this year's journalism camp, Ms. Alexandra Gunefi Kong. Ms. Addy, I really want to be like you one day, a broadcaster spreading news all around. That's so sweet! What's your name? My name is Nicola Pua. Wow, passion, perseverance, and determination. You can. This is Nicola Pua for CNN reporting. And you're still listening to CW News right here on 97.5 Freedom Radio. Time check is 1 3 p.m. Time check is brought to you by For the international news, U.S. F-16 fighter jet crashes near Osan Air Base. Give us the details at San Nicola Boys. Nicole? A USF-16 fighter jet assigned to the 8th fighter wing crash in an agricultural area in the Austin Air Base last Saturday at 9.45 in the morning. The pilot was safely ejected and was transported to the nearest medical facility and was participating in a routine flight. According to military police, no civilians were hurt in the incident. Nicola Poas for TWN News 24-7. And that was Nicole. Let's find out the latest in sports. Tisha Padillos has the news. Pinas Filipinas moved in the gap to its first game and then scattered the game the rest of the way to dispatch Holt and Goya Tuesday with a score of 8 69 in the gold medal game in the 32nd Southeast Asia Games Match Basketball Tournament. The team built a 30 point lead behind Brownie, Jerome Simonsa, Christian, and Harvey Ray Nusson, heading with a half time break in the midst of the number of five backs from the Lone Combo decided to post the game. For TW News 24 7, I'm Tisha Marios reporting. Thank you, Tisha. So there you have it, the latest and the hottest news for this hour right here on DZWN Freedom Radio. For more news, just go to www.freedomradio.com.ph. This has been Nikolai Arkia, the voice of truth. And I'm Alexander Gunatin Kong, the voice of the youth. Catch us again tomorrow for another edition of TW News 24-7. Your voice, your number one choice. 
97.5 Freedom Radio. Ooh. 